Thanksgiving, a holiday about giving thanks and eating turkey. Shouldn't be that hard to mess up, yet every year there are people who do it wrong. Don't even get me started on Black Friday, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. While everyone loves being able to see your family again, the food is obviously the most important part. The great thing about Thanksgiving is the wide variety of food you can choose from each year. You've got turkey and stuffing and potatoes and uh, turkey and pie and uh, turkey. Turkey is the foundation upon which the Thanksgiving meal is built, but it's got a problem. When you want to cook a turkey for a bunch of people, you have to throw it in the oven for like four hours sometimes. That's ridiculous. By the time the turkey's ready, you've already eaten all the stuffing and the gravy, so it's no good anyway. This year, if you really want to impress your family and show them just how fast you can prepare dinner, just serve them up some turkey sandwiches instead. After you've starved your family and burnt the turkey, they'll be so hungry that they think you're actually a great chef, which was your plan all along. Now comes the best part of Thanksgiving, eating the Let's all go around the table and say what we're thankful for. Now you have to wait for all the family members you barely even know to repeat the same thing over and over again. I'm thankful for my family, and this food, and for being here together. Aww. Aww. I'm thankful for my family, and- And for my health, and for my dog Shredder, and for the nice young man who shovels my driveway. <laughs> Alright, Grandma. I'm thankful for my- And I can't forget about my nice warm house, and Mrs. Johnson's bingo night, and- Here's a pro tip for Thanksgiving. If you're all going around the table and saying what you're thankful for, just pick one thing so you can hurry up and eat. After all, that's what you're there to do. Now that everyone's given their thanks, you can finally sit back, relax, and enjoy your meal. Four unbearable hours of opinion bashing later. After Thanksgiving dinner, you're probably pretty stuffed. You might even need to undo your belt for a little extra room. Wait a second. Oh my god, that's why they do that. Thanksgiving is probably the first time in the year you've seen a lot of your family members. Which means it's the first time they're seeing you, too. This means you should get prepared to be berated with the same kind of questions, over and over, all day. How's school going? Oh, y you know, it's not, it's not too bad. Do you have a job yet? Well, I'm, I'm sort of in between jobs at the moment. You look so skinny, you should eat more. Alright, that one's not even... After your family has lowered your self-esteem just a little bit more, the best way to cheer up is, of course, Black Friday shopping. Black Friday is great because if you want to avoid your family on Thanksgiving, you can just tell them you're going to go camp outside Walmart to cop those sweet deals and all sorts of useful stuff. I don't really get Black Friday. Like, I get that all the deals are really good, but I don't see the point in literally risking my life to find out the TV I want is sold out. I always end up buying another toaster or something while I'm there just so I don't feel defeated. Everyone knows Cyber Monday is so much better than Black Friday anyways, because you can just order everything you need from the comfort of your own home. Overall, Thanksgiving's just like a mini version of Christmas. You have the same big meal with your family that you would on Christmas, except you don't get any presents. Just turkey. If you have any topics you think people do wrong, leave a comment and let us know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching.